Hello everybody, Izumi here, and I'm running Sinmara Strikes 8-star multi-solo. First is going to be Kickboxer Ulin as my front tank, and just a lot of water gear. Second is going to be Witch Galvig, and same thing, just a lot more water gear, and you're going to need the high flame rings on 8-star, and you could use regular flame rings on 7-star. Third is going to be Bara. Again, just more water gear here. We're using Admiral Nautica for crystal crushing. And the same thing with DL. All right, here we go. Princess Sinmara is in the melee row and is Yotun and is considered to be grounded. Her action skill, Searing Slice, does 140% fire attack damage and fire wound for 3 turns to the nearest enemy row. Fire wound effect applies to humans, Therians, and Yotun. Her auto skill is fire attack damage and burn for 7 turns and fire wound for 2 turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Burn applies to all races and fire wound effects apply to human, Therian, and Yotun. Additionally, at 8 star, she has a gravity field and gravity field is active from Sinmara's second HP bar on. The most effective elements are going to be water followed by dark. The nearest row of crystals, the melee crystals, are attack reflection barrier to self, and they stat debuff nullified to Sinmara. So that's why I'm not using much attack equipment, because it's just until those melee row of crystals go down, then it's just going to be reflected. The ranged row of crystals does fire attack damage and fear for three turns to the front hero. Fear effect applies only to Aesir, Human, Sterian, and Yotun. Additionally, at 7 star, these crystals generate a flame field and a high flame field at 8 star. So get rid of those and get rid of your field. Some other heroes you can use for this would be if you need a healer, Erd isn't bad, um, Magus Ip Ipsum is a good choice, Musician Art, Awakened Frigg, um, Mage Commander Grace. You can try Vidar, but just make sure he's not up front. Um, Rhoda is a good choice, and so is Nori. I've run it with Thrud before. And, you know, just basically any water character is good for this. Just try not to use Aesir up front, which is going to be what most people are going to try to do. So that's really about it. Not much to say about this one at all. It's one of the older fights and now with the recent power creep and all the um, awakenings and heroes that we've had, it's really rather easy. I like to use Ulan is my tank for this because I use her for a lot of different connect battles as a tank. And I mainly have her just set up with... Uh, you know, barrier equipment and stuff like that, but it, it really doesn't matter. That's really not going to do very much. You just want to hit her with water magic attack damage pretty much is your best bet. And she, go, she goes down pretty fast. That said, I like all the chains in the background. I think that's a cool, um, you know, field to fight in. And Galvig was one of the um, first ones that I had awakened, so I've been using her for this the most. And Nautica as well was a good choice way back in the day. Until they came out with like DL and stuff and made it a lot easier. And now you have Vidar with Yotun Killer and up water attack damage. So it makes it quite a bit easier, even if he isn't really doing much but reflecting off of it. But you knock down those crystals that reflect, then that you can just hit her with whatever you want to. So I'm just rambling now until it's over. Okay. Okay. 
All right, there we go. Thank you for watching and have a good day.